Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Thursday, September 23rd, 2010. This morning we're going to kind of jump back one level from yesterday's screencast where I built a domain model and a UI. We're going to start from the test first aspect and do test driven development. What we're going to do is take this little piece of script I've got in a workspace and assume that I wanted to take that, which reads line at a time from this file. So let's inspect that, just make sure it does what I expect. So there we go. And I want to take that and create an actual class that does this instead of having this in a workspace. Now, the right way to do this would be to do test-driven development first. So I'm going to build my test object. So I want to go here to Popular. I want to load SUnit Tools, which I already have in this image, so I would go here if I didn't. I'm going to close that. And now what I'm going to do is come over here. I've already built this, so let's take a look at it. Line Reader Tests. Under Definition, you can see I've subclassed this from SUnit.TestCase. And here's my test. I have my expected that's going to come in from that file is going to be this collection. I say as list because Line Reader will bring things back in a list form. And then I'm going to say line reader on lines.txt because that's the API I want to use. And then I'm going to do an assertion. Assert that the sizes are the same and that all the elements are the same. So that should work. So that you don't have to watch me retype everything, I'm just going to connect to my local repository and I'm going to load what I wrote yesterday. So let's browse the published items. And I'll start typing line reading. Let's go ahead and grab the latest version of that. We'll just load that in. And now I should have, under line reading, I have my line reader, and I have my class level API. So I have my method on here, so that should work. Let's go back to our test class, line reader tests. If you look all the way down at the bottom of the browser here, and I have to make it a little smaller so you can see, I have my test up built right in. So I can just run my test here, and it passes. So my test works, my class does what I expect, and I now have a test-driven kind of thing where I can verify that my class is working the way I expect it to, especially if I were to take my test and modify it so that it wasn't heavily dependent on this one specific file. But you get the idea. You build your test, you run it, and once it's working, you can move along. So it's better for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.